Today we're yakking with Dave Kelfo. Dave, welcome to the program. Welcome, John. Welcome Dave, to my studio. Well, we appreciate it. Now, Dave, we're trying to figure out what we call you here because I know you call yourself a salvage artist. And what, what all? Tell me about the titles you have. Uh, salvage artist is one of them. Okay. Uh, a recycler is another. A repurposer. Um, I've been called an industrial archaeologist. Okay. I work strictly in Pittsburgh garbage, uh, but historical garbage. Okay. Things that mean stuff. But nobody thinks so. Yeah. Have you ever been called a jag off? My younger days. <laughs> My younger days. Yeah. Now go back to the younger days. How did you start? What's some of the things you, you know, I know you work with metal. I know you work with canvas, wood. How did you start? Uh, dumpsters, dumpster diving back in the 70s. Let's okay. Say. All uh, right. And that just progressed into me working with everything. Okay. Uh, as you can see, nothing's off limits for me. Yeah. And working with wood, let's bring working in our prototype here. Working with wood is one of mine. <laughs> I want to just notice that he has a Don't Be a Jagoff shirt underneath of there. So uh, <laughs> tell us, Dave, tell us a little about what this is and what, you know, um, just this, go this, at it. This is all just scrap lumber left over from a deck that was built in Squirrel Hill. Okay. It's all ePay lumber. Um, it's supposed to represent a, hun, a set of Hunnish armor built in the fifth century. Okay. Uh, it's a little different because there are no documented proof of this wood armor anywhere. Okay. But pretty much, yeah. Um, it's That's designed it. for horseback. Very Price is Right like. You go right ahead. Yeah. He's spinning like a Price I is Right it. model. I love it. Um, <laughs> it's designed for riding a horse and being able to shoot archery at the same time. Thus, the flap. Be careful. Easier. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and it's open up for modern day use with the SCA. Okay. Uh, that way your body breathes. Okay. And what about the helmet here? The helmet has been altered. Uh, two and a half inches worth of extra metal put in here. New breathe holes, uh, sight holes opened up, a bunch of metal added to the back, and everything reinforced. Because when you get hit in the head with a baseball bat, it's not fun. <laughs> No, well, so that's cool. That's, uh, yeah, t uh, we appreciate our Price is Right model, Tim. Uh, feel free to catch the subway. You'll look great. Nobody will even notice you. Uh, oh, Dave, let's work our way around the room a little bit here. Tell us, so that was wood. Let's talk about, uh, go right here to this clock here. This is interesting to us. Pull right off the junk pile. Okay. Totally off of someone's garbage. Uh, there's a lot of building going up here in Lawrenceville, uh, remodeling the old homes. Okay. So when people go in and clean them up, Pretty much they throw everything out. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was cool. It's actually a 1950, so I tried to keep it original. If you guys peek inside, it actually has chimes. Wow. So it still chimes. I opened it up, cleaned it off, got it working again. It chimes every hour on the hour and every half hour. Now, this is all done in uh, water-based airbrush paint and trying to stay true to my recycling roots all the automotive paint that is on here is left over from another job from a friend of mine who paints cars for a living yeah so that that blue background and all that metallic never even made it into our dump because dave what and this is cool i love this story about this what are you doing uh nothing don't nothing worry. don't worry about it <laughs> all right this piece right here i call soul searcher uh it was a piece of lumber from one of two remaining log homes that were in a metropolitan city here in the United States. One of them was here in Lawrenceville that they just tore down, oh, last year, a year and a half ago maybe. Um, I salvage it, if I roll it this way, you can actually see the shape of the log on the outside and the two pinholes, what they would do is pound pin, uh, oak pins in here and join it to the next piece. Wow. So it's actually, Historical junk. This is what I'm saying. People don't see junk as being historical. Yeah, this it's beautiful is, too. What's it finished with? Uh, the finish is a two-part resin epoxy finish that pretty much I'm the only one in Pittsburgh that works with, with colored pigments in it. I had to work with it. If you look really careful, this one side of the log was burned. That's why it's so black. So for me to add some black pigment to it, just it was a natural progression for me. What are you doing? Uh, uh, no, don't worry about it, Dave. Just let's let's All move right. on to this thing All here. Right. Now here's another one. Same thing. Um, I'm kind of noted for my long, oblong figures. Uh, I've been doing them for a few years. This is the same thing, except it's half a log. So you can see where it was split through. Oh, okay. But same thing. It's got the pinhole in the bottom of it, and you can still see the char to it. I add a little bit of white to it. And the thing about it is, this is the only one that I've ever carved with a head turned. Um, if you look, he actually has a face to it, but there's no expression. 
Now you paint. Let's look over here. You paint with recycled yes. paint. I think we yeah. found a date for the Hun guy here, right? <laughs> Tell us about this. This is Lynette. We, she's been around for a it while. It has a name, Lynette. Yes, Lynette. Everybody yes. say hi, Lynette. <laughs> she, uh, she's been with me for a while. She was a collaboration with a friend of mine, Ashley, my resin mentor, which was kind of cool, you know. So we got together on this, and you can see this is his contribute, his PC little, he did to it, little resin brooch for her. Ah, nice. We call her Lin Lynette Late Night Party Girl because she's actually a nightlight. When you leave the house on, the sconce lights up and it gives a nice glow to the corner of the room. All right, Dave, so, uh, well, you know, I don't want like to be showed up and I like to learn when I'm here and okay. I've been observing your work and I, what I've, I had some paper clips I had in my cup holder in my car before we got here and I think I've made a nice piece of salvage art. I've salvaged these paper clips and, um, you know, I, it's 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 from my heart, and I call it Lynette number two. And um, what do, what do you think, Dave? That's not art. You jag off 